Welcome. Our topic for today's lesson is Decimal Fractions. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's check out the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to learn the following. 1. The meaning of decimal fractions. 2. Place values of decimal fractions. 3. Conversion of fractions to decimals and vice versa. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. Introduction to Decimal Fractions A decimal fraction is a fraction whose denominator is 10 or a multiple of 10. For instance, 3 over 10, 5 over 100, 2 over 1000, etc. A decimal fraction is usually expressed by use of special notations called the decimal point or period. The numerator of the fraction is written with a decimal point and no denominator. Let's see some examples. 3 over 10 is written as 0.3. 5 over 100 is written as 0.05. 2 over 1000 is written as 0.002. A decimal number is a number which has a whole and fractional parts. The decimal point separates the whole number from the fractional parts. For instance, one whole number 2 over 10 is written as 1.2, where 1 is the whole number and 2 is the fractional part. That's wonderful. Place value of decimal fractions. Remember that place value is the value of each digit of a number in the place value system. When placing decimal fractions, we start from the first digit after the decimal point as shown in the image below. The first place after the decimal is gotten by dividing the number by 10. It is called the tenths place. The second place after the decimal is gotten by dividing the number by 100. It is called the hundredths place. The third place after the decimal is gotten by dividing the number by 1000. It is called the thousandths place. The fourth place after the decimal is gotten by dividing the number by 10,000. It is called the ten of thousandths place. And so on. Now, let's see an example. Examples Write the following in decimal numbers. 1. See the image on the board. Let's count together. 0 is placed in 1's column. We bring down the decimal point. 8 is placed in 10's column. 2 is placed in 100's column. And 3 is placed in 1000's column. This gives us 0.823 in decimal. 2. See the image on the board. Let's count together. 2 is placed in 10's column. 4 is placed in 1's column. We bring down the decimal point. 6 is placed in 10's column. And 1 is placed in 100's column. This gives us 24.61 in decimal. That's brilliant. Conversion of fractions to decimals. To convert a fraction to a decimal, we divide the numerator of the fraction by the denominator of the fraction. Let's see some examples. Convert the following fractions to decimals. 1. 3 over 10. 2. 8 over 10. 3. 1 over 2. Solution. 1. 3 over 10 equals 3 
divided by 10. This gives us 0 0.3. 2. 8 over 10 equals 8 divided by 10. This gives us 0 0.8. 3. 1 over 2 equals 1 divided by 2. This gives us 0 0.5. That's brilliant. Let's now look on how we can convert decimals back to fractions. Conversion of decimals to fractions. To convert a decimal to a fraction, we identify the place value of the last digits after the decimal in the number to determine the denominator. Then we remove the decimal point and rewrite in fraction form. Let's see some examples. Convert the following decimals to fractions. 1. 0 0.05 2. 0 0.3 Solution 1. 0 0.05 5 is placed in the hundredths column, which gives us the denominator, 100. We now rewrite in the fraction form, therefore, 0 0.05 equals 5 over 100. 2. 0 0.3 3 is placed in the tenths column, which gives us the denominator, 10. We now rewrite in the fraction form, therefore 0 0.3 equals 3 over 10. Wow, that's good. Assignment Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. The meaning of decimal fractions. 2. The place values of decimal fractions in the number system. 3. How to convert fractions to decimals, and vice versa. I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in our next one. Thanks and goodbye.